Ladies and gentlemen, let's tour Plan 2709, which is also the square footage, 2,709 square feet. We've got in this home, you can make up to five bedrooms and um, you have a den. Beautiful floor plan, I'm gonna show it to you in a second. This is the equivalent of the Dalton, sorry, the Halton plan over in Wesley Park. And uh, let's go inside. I really like this entrance right here. Usually the American West entrances, they have those stairs right there that you have to go up. Not a fan of that that much. Although we don't really use it much, you know, because we usually, here we get in from the garage door. But I love this floor plan. I love the, uh, the elevation that they offer here. And this is a three-story, as a matter of fact. Over in Wesley Park, you can make this one a two-story as well. 2,000 square feet. And then you can add also that third story right there. As you can see behind that tree, there's some more windows to make it a three story. So let's go inside and check it out. So as I said, 2,709 square feet up to five bedrooms. Let's see how that will work. So as you walk in, you have a nice open entry, very wide. You're looking at about eight feet right here, if not even nine. Over to the left, you have your garage door, which obviously is locked. You keep the bodies there. Your powder room to the right. Now over here they upgraded the sink. It comes with a regular sink. It's a little bit small, but I think for a powder room it will suffice. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Over here they did put some nice flooring down here. It's a it's a wood like tile. Um, not a fan of the grout of it with it, but it is what it is. Now one downside of this layout is that dining room, the space that you have in the dining room. Look how much room they have here. They could have just moved this over a little bit. And I know this because of the other community. And it's just that dining room. It's a little bit, you know, everybody says, oh, it's a little bit weird. But we'll go see. I'll show you in a second. Fireplace is definitely an upgrade. This actually produces heat. So the heat will come out from here, from the vents. Ooh, it's kind of hot, actually. And uh, beautiful imagery here with the electric linear fireplace six foot it's about a five thousand dollar upgrade the five thousand upgrade though would only give you uh orange peel right here on this if you want this kind of tile you're looking at an extra grand or so just to add this so you're looking at six thousand all right so don't forget guys to hit that like button for the algorithm, I really appreciate it. Now, for this island right here, you're looking at this triangular shape island, but uh, what is included is actually a better version of this, which is a regular rectangular uh, island. It's a little bit smaller because it gets up to here, but it goes all the way there, closing off, which I think is a better option. Let me know down in the comments if you like this one or not. This one does have, however, a little bit of space down here, right? Yeah, a little bit of space down here. You can put a nice refrigerator or something like that. Not that it's needed if you have this huge refrigerator. Which, by the way, American West includes refrigerators in their base price. Just not this one. Just a regular two-door refrigerator. Uh, stainless steel still, nonetheless. It also includes um, washer and dryer in the base price by American West, which is awesome. So, as far as this one, it starts at $435,000. You got stainless steel appliances, which are included. And also your dishwasher right there. You got a big size pantry because it goes all the way back here with five stacked racks here. The chicken wire, the beautiful chicken wire. Let me know what you guys think about this chicken wire shelves. Over here we have an updated, upgraded uh, cabinets uh, line right here. This extra line right here is an upgrade. Oh, be over on you probably about 1500 or so especially with the glass. One feature that I really like about American West is this window on top of the sink. It really lets in a lot of light. Uh, you know, most of the time you're gonna have a neighbor next door, so it's not really nice, but if you have a corner lot or something, this really stands out. And you have under mounted sinks, not this style. This is the farmhouse style sink. Uh, it does come with the fiberglass. Now check out this dining room, guys. Is this enough room? This is a pretty small table. I mean, it kind of fits. But usually you want a little bit more room around just to have a little bit more flow. So this could work, right? But just if I'm trying to go outside, I have to squeeze back here, you know? I have to squeeze back here to get in and then get out, right? 
which in my opinion it's a little bit of a flaw of this floor plan but maybe you can rearrange something rearrange something there and uh, you know do something to free up a little bit more space let me know down in the comments what you will do as you can see it's a, it's a three-story you can see it from the back and then pretty good size backyard you have about a 20-foot backyard here which will allow you to add a pool as well what it comes with is your six foot eight doors right here comes also with the nine foot ceiling however inside and you can upgrade this door to a bigger door you can also do another sliding door right there if you wanted to like the the four uh, panel sliding door although this is a great option it really allows a lot of light in <coughs> bless me all right we got a closet storage area under the stairs let's go check out the second floor wow this took a while six minutes for one floor i'm talking a lot now these glass uh stairs right here are actually an upgrade i would go with the pony wall or just upgrade it to a nice rail here walking up we'll have our loft over to the left one two three bedrooms now you can here add the fourth floor if you go to Wesley Park. You can add this fourth floor going up. Uh, or you can just leave it like this, 2,050 square feet, I believe it is, with just the first two stores, which is a nice home. You know, you get a loft over here. And then you get your hall bathroom here. Only one sink. It's a little bit of downside. Now, this is what's included. You see the overmounted sink in the bathrooms. And you get uh, culture marble. I don't know why they put these tiles here. I guess they were in back in the 2000s. Uh, but I don't like the grout here. It's just really bad. And then they put the tile here as well. But they do offer right now um, culture marble in the base price. I feel like a lot of people, however, they walk in here and they think, gosh, it's so dated. And they just get turned off. But there's so much potential in here. You can get a really good deal in this area. Nine by 10 bedroom, eight foot ceilings we got here. Got the boob lights. Second bedroom over here. We still got about nine by 10. We got a walk-in closet over here. And then here's a laundry room so it does come with washer and dryer I don't know why they don't have them in this model but you got some cabinets up there or an upgrade also over right here you have a linen closet over here and voila you're a master eight foot tuning is here you guys know why I call it the boob lights, right? We got 16 by 17, probably. Yeah. Pretty good size. And then here it is. Big walk-in closet. And over to the right side, you have your water closet. These are upgraded sinks, they're over mounted. But pretty nice nonetheless. Got a walk-in shower here. You can upgrade to a tub with the shower on top. I'm not sure if they offer an option where you have the separate tub and the shower, but that's something I need to ask also. We do have another floor to go check out, which is uh you know an extra loft and bedroom upstairs is awesome so 2,709 square feet for 435 that's cheap oh I'm sorry guys I said cheap somebody said that you know it's not it doesn't sound good cheap which I agree actually so I'm gonna say it's a uh, you know it's pretty inexpensive how does that sound let me know down in the comments Voila. look at this loft size beautiful this is literally the whole is it 22 feet probably by 16? We got your attic access here. 
which is great. This is where you change all your filters. I like this desk. It's cute. I need to steal it. I have something similar to this. It's cool. Now, up here we have a full bathroom because we have the bedroom, right? I think you can make this... No, I think you can make this a whole loft if you wanted to. But I really like the option here to have a bedroom upstairs. Let me know down in the comments, which, what would you do? Two sinks, same tile as downstairs. It comes with a 13 by 13 tile. You know, they have a few options to choose from. And this is what I was saying about the master. You would get something like this, but wider, like a bigger tub. And then the culture marble on the on the walls. In this case, they have your tile here, which you can choose from this tile too, but not a fan of it. And then here we go. Bedroom upstairs, really good size. We got 13 over here by 16. All right. And yeah, let's go see this walking closet as well. Getting a workout today with all these stairs going up and down, but you get used to it. You know, when you once you start doing a lot of videos, you get used to it. Check out up here, guys, the link with all the model homes that they have here in this community, so you can see also what else they have to offer. And maybe if you're gonna buy a home, just call me, okay? Information down in, uh, down below in the description. That way you you can reach out to me and we can get you set up with uh, what you need as far as uh, your real estate needs and everything. We can have a Zoom call or something where I can share my screen with you and I can enlighten you about everything that happens here in Las Vegas, where you wanna be, what software, where is your best chance to buy, and so on, you know. So reach out to me, my information is down below. Uh, as usual, you know, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.